Okay, let's go live. It's James Sabidik speaking, trainingsites.io. Um, I don't normally do these now, but this is a live session. I just got flipped out, and I think maybe that part of ChatGPT 5.0, the new one, is actually hidden and available to us. Now, um, let me explain what I mean here. And again, I'm not uh, overly technical uh, into this whole AI space thing. I always look at it from the perspective of what are the things that I can do in my education business and take advantage of it. Having said that, I've been doing all sorts of research because some of the people that I follow on YouTube have been talking about ChatGPT. So I'm going to be doing another YouTube video that is about that. But I ran into something doing the research that I think is one of the things that they're talking about, but it's available now on ChatGPT4, and it's the one that I'm going to show you today. Now, what am I talking about? Just remember that I'm coming at this from the perspective of a user who has a basic paid account who uses ChatGPT on a regular basis to do things like create lesson plans and handouts and landing pages and things like that. And in the past, almost always what I had to do was give a prompt, get a response. And I had some templates for that, you know, that I used on a regular basis, but it was always about me having to prompt chat GPT to get some kind of response, the ones that I wanted. So I was doing a little bit of research and I'm going to show you my screen because something happened that completely blew me away that I think is part of chat GPT, which in the research I was doing is supposed to be coming out next month in July or in the summer. So uh, here's kind of what I was doing, putting my notes together, getting ready, and then I'm going to show you actually what happened. So the way that I normally work when I do these uh, kinds of things is I will actually go and make some kind of mind map with my notes in it. Uh, and I do that just, you know, when I'm doing my research about all the different things that are available that I need to talk about. So I've got these things, I'm putting them here and then I'm trying to figure out, okay, how can I make some notes? What are the things that I want to expand on or use? So this is again, my workflow and watch what happens. So basically what I did is I took the markdown file of my mind map and I had uh, some notes about upcoming release of ChatGPT 5. I want you to analyze them along with any additional information available about the capabilities of this new model and provide me with a detailed outline of what it means in real terms to course creators and education and teachers. So I'm not talking about technical stuff. I'm just talking about stuff for real people. And goes through and we did a whole bunch of work on this and it was talking about stuff uh, in here. And again, this is covering the other video, but it was stuff about autonomous agents and predictive prompting and personalized interactions and all of this really cool stuff. And I was going down, going down, getting ready, just working on this, talking about it. And then all of a sudden, when I got halfway through, it said something. I asked for a little bit more information from a transcript that I have. And then course summary goes along here and it gives me this summary. Now watch what happens at the end of the summary. This hasn't done this for me before, but here what happens. Just look what it says right here and I'll move it over so you can see that. It says, would you like me to turn this into a downloadable PDF cheat sheet, a one page handout for educator, a course lesson or live stream talking points? So I said the cheat sheet. So what happens here is it actually creates a cheat sheet for me. Now this is something in the past that I probably, or in many cases, would have had to prompt for. All of a sudden it's there and it asked me to do that. And I've now got a place to the, here's the cheat sheet for educators and course creators is ready. It's available, I can download it. And then one page handout, live streamer course. Those are the first three things it did. Would you like the handout to be printable? Events, workshops, styled for slide use, formatted like a workbook or summary page. So it's knowing all of the things that I would normally ask or a teacher or educator may ask if they're creating content that has to do with teaching and creating this kind of content. Let me know and I'll build it out accordingly. So I ask for a piece, one page hat out. And then all of a sudden I now have download the handout PDF. Uh, next, I'll prepare the live stream and course lessons talking points. And it says, would you like them as a live stream outline, slide deck outline, or printable speaker guide? Let me know which way you want them. Give me the live stream outline. 
So now all of a sudden I've got the live stream that I'm probably going to do tomorrow, but it's now got here's the intro and basically the talking points for me to go over in the video that I'm going to be doing on it. So going up great. Well, that's wait. Would you like this turned into a slide deck or speaker notes? And again, none of this is me prompting. This is stuff that's actually happening predictively based on what I normally ask for and the stuff that someone creating courses, teaching, or educators would actually want to do. So it went through that again, gives me everything, and it's analyzed, put together, and download the speaker notes PDF. So what's next? Would you like a downloadable cheat sheet, a one-page printable hand, complete speaker notes? And I'll, would you like these into a training kit or upload pack for the community or your email list? So, yep, that would be great. I'd like a training kit. So what it does is puts everything together in a zip file for a training kit, and it tells what's actually inside of it. When you like the page description or email copy to promote this kit. So here's the landing page copy for your GPT Educator training kit, written in a supportive, over 40 friendly style, clear, motivating, and practical. These are the things that I have in my uh, uh, my special instructions when I'm using ChatGPT, but they're here and they're picked out and it's saying, hey, do you want the landing page for the training kit? There's the training kit and it gives me the information about it. And this is the information basically explaining what it is, why it matters. And then all of a sudden, would you like this formatted into a WordPress block landing page section for Elementor or Cadence or email follow-up sequence as well? First, a block. But it does on the right hand side, it actually creates a cut and paste block for my WordPress site where my community is. And then here's two components you can add to your funnel. Here's a follow up for after the download and it's got the actual email copy that is done there. So here's what I recommend, yada, yada, yada. It gives me all the information, cut and paste, a thank you page copy for the landing page and the form. Very cool. Would you like this email and thank you content formatted for? Fluent CRM, which is a CRM that I use, or ConvertKit. WordPress thank you page HTML, downloadable Docker Notion format. Fluent CRM, please. So it creates the HTML that I can paste directly into Fluent CRM to send out to my list. And then it says there's a confirmation page template, so the email for that. And it says, would you like an automation export of a JSON file to import the automation into your CRM? or a downloadable docs, copy and paste, drag in a mailer version two, let me know your tool stack and I'll pre prep the right format. So I get the JSON file. If you want the exports ready, there we go. So I'm like, I'm, these are the things that I have not seen. I don't know if in higher end paid accounts or other people are seeing this, but for me, I'm just looking at this and this is the entire suite of things that you would uh, not, it's pretty close to the entire suite of things that you would need for creating some kind of information kit or kit, right from the content to the actual marketing and delivery of it. And I did not prompt any of it, not a single bit. It was given to me preemptively prompting me if I wanted something that it thought I might knew based on what I'm doing. This is what I think was mentioned in the other people that I follow when I'm looking at some of the other people that I subscribe to, for example, you know, Agent Timelines, when it's coming, Julia McCoy, there's Dave Shapiro. Um, again, these are all people talking about it. These are the people that I follow. This is all technical stuff, but I'm looking at it from how do I do it for real life people? And I think what this is, is this is the ChatGPT preemptive prompting that is starting to be kind of be rolled out underneath what people think. And the reason I did that is I said, you know what, maybe it's already out here and I'm not sure. So I went to Perplexity and I was playing around. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't available yet. I asked Perplexity just to get some kind of idea what was going on here. And basically what it said, do any, I asked, do any of the current LLM tools include preemptive prompts, which is what I was getting. And it says, most of them uh, and others do not natively include preemptive prompts. So maybe they ask you a question after, but this was asking me, 
the things that it knew that I needed for the type of person that I am and the type of content that I am. Um, when I do the video tomorrow, there's a whole bunch of other things that are coming, but this stuff I think is gonna change everything in the education space because our ability to create content has dramatically shifted and our speed at which we can do this now, again, is exponentially changed. And I'm super excited about this because if you can do the research, be the human in the loop to actually confirm some of the content that you're coming out. And that's the other thing we're gonna talk about tomorrow is there's far less hallucination in this, but this is gonna be absolutely so cool. And I'm betting, I'm guessing that this is part of it kind of being rolled out a little bit under the hood and we're gonna see it sooner rather than later. My name is James, it's trainingsites.io. I try and put all of this stuff together in the website there, my community, my privately branded community. You're free to go join that, have some fun there. We're gonna learn about this stuff and it's all about starting, building and growing your education business. So hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'll be back hopefully tonight or tomorrow with a whole kind of big package on how I think all of these new ChatGPT5 things are gonna change things for everyone. So hope you enjoyed it. Take care, expect the best.